The queen bee gives directions to the bees for them to collect nectar so the new bee generations can thrive as long as they can. Bees go buzzing around. Eventually, they find flowers. These insects are attracted to the bright, colorful petals. The bees go and collect nectar, which is a liquid located in the flowers. By bees going from flower to flower, they pollinate other flowers. This process is called cross-pollination. What is cross-pollination? It is the process in which the pollen is transferred between flowers that are genetically different from each other to create a new species. This can also be referred to as xenogamy or allogamy. There are other ways in which pollination can occur besides the bee intervention. Pollination can occur with wind, animals, water, and humans. How can humans help in the process of pollination? Botanists, which are specialists in the study of plants, cross-pollinate plants in order to create diversity in plant species. Another way of pollination is self-pollination. Another name for this is autogamy. Auto meaning from itself. Gammy meaning reproduction. How does this happen? The pollen, which is the male part of the plant located in the stamen, travels to the stigma, part of the female reproductive system of the plant, which also includes the pistil and ovule, travels through the stigma and then attaches itself to the ovule. At the end of this process, a seed will develop with the fruit or vegetable. Why is pollination important? Without pollination, we as humans and other living organisms would not be able to survive without the fruits, vegetables, or oxygen that are provided by the plants around us.